There's an alpaca hiding around this office. I'm not even kidding you. It's somewhere around this office. I'm not gonna tell you guys where it's hiding, but it's definitely in this frame right now. So if you guys can find it, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, today I have five tips to help you guys sell your artwork fast in 2019. This is so important, guys. Some of you are trying to make money off your art, your designs, and you're having a hard time. So I'm here to help you guys today, okay? I got your back. We're gonna get right into this video. Tip number one is design for a specific niche. I cannot tell you guys how important this one is. It's gonna help you sell your artwork so fast. When you're designing for something specific, it definitely has a better chance to sell than if you're just designing random stuff for a bunch of different things. So I'll give you guys a few niches that are very popular. Dogs, if you guys make designs based around dog lovers, those will sell fast, I guarantee it. Cat lovers, hip hop music. So if you're designing for something specific, I guarantee you, you're gonna build an audience faster that way. That's one thing that I struggled with in 2018 is not designing for specific niches. And I had a harder time selling my designs. Yes, I sold them because people already know about me, but it's a lot harder if you do it the way I did it in 2018. So avoid all that and just design for something specific. Try it out for a year and I guarantee you, you're gonna see insane results. Tip number two is stop comparing yourself to other designers. This is gonna kill your momentum and you're gonna get exhausted so fast because when you compare yourself to other people, you set unrealistic expectations of how you should be as a designer and you're not gonna get work done that way. It's gonna kill your mindset. It's gonna kill your mood in general. So stop comparing yourself because when you do that, you're just gonna ruin the whole process for yourself and you're not going to sell as many designs because it's going to show in your work. Art doesn't lie. You can tell when somebody had a bad day. Let's just put it that way. So it's okay to, uh, like I said, look for inspiration, but don't compare yourself. You are unique. You're one of one and your style's different than everybody else's and just accept that. Learn to love it. It's okay. We're all different. Some of us can draw really good. Some of us are good at typography. Some of us are good at everything. Some of us are good at image manipulation. Tip number three is to find websites to help you sell your artwork. Work. There are so many different websites out there that help you out and it's up to you to do your research. One of the ones that I use, I'm gonna bless you guys right now. One of the ones I use is called mentees.com and it's great for band merch. So if you're selling band merch and that's your niche, I can almost guarantee you if you're designing for bands and you upload your designs to mentees, you're gonna sell one design at least within a few weeks. I guarantee it. I would definitely recommend you upload your artwork. Even if you're not designing for bands, I'm sure somebody might like your artwork on there, but it's definitely geared towards selling t-shirt designs. So if you guys are specifically designing t-shirt designs, I would definitely check it out. And there are so many different websites, so go have fun, guys. Go on Google right now, start typing in how to sell my artwork online. Do that, and I promise you, you're gonna have a plethora of results that pop up. If you're not trying to sell just t-shirt designs, another website that is great is dribble.com, so I would definitely check that out as well. I will link some of these in the description below to help you guys out. Tip number four is common sense, I'm not gonna lie, but so many people don't think about this, and they don't put the effort to do this, and that is being consistent. It's right in front of our face, it's that simple. You have to be consistent. If you're not being consistent, how is anybody gonna find you? You see what I'm saying? And you also have to be consistent in the sense where you have to develop your own style and stick to that style because that's how you separate yourself from the competition. And if you're not developing a style, then you're just gonna kind of blend in with everybody else doing the same exact thing as you. So you have to really put the effort in to be consistent. Now we're moving on to the big five, guys. Tip number five is showcase your artwork on social media websites. Pick your favorite social media websites and showcase your art and figure out how that social media platform works, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is, really figure out how that platform works with their algorithm so you can master it, so you can get the best results. If you're not posting your work online, nobody's gonna buy it. So stop thinking, hey, I'm gonna sit here and my artwork's gonna sell because it's that good. Trust me, it's not good enough to just sell like that. Nobody's artwork is. It's not gonna sell itself unless you have word of mouth and there's so many people that know about you. That's a whole different story and a different ball game. But if you're just an average Joe and you're trying to sell your artwork and nobody knows about you, how do you expect people to find out about you if you're not posting on social media? One that I recommend is YouTube, Instagram, and even Twitter is a good one. There's also apps like Dribbble to share your artwork. So there's really no excuse not to share your artwork on social media. It's going to help you tremendously. So I would definitely take advantage of it. Those were my five tips to help you guys sell your artwork fast in 2019. I really hope they help you out. Guys, I make videos like this one every single week, so check back often and share my videos with your friends if you think it can help them out. And also, I'm curious to see what you guys think about my videos. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation 
And I almost forgot, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Charlie Pangus. I'm always on Instagram, so go say hi. Send me a smiley face, send me a middle finger. I don't really care. Just come say hi to me. I would love to hear from you guys. That is it for me. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.